meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribe. I'm laughing because I had to run and change the battery in the camera. It was not working. And I'm like, hopefully I can get it done before the commercial's over. Anyway, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. If you do nothing more, please click the like button. It helps somebody uh, who needs this reading hear the reading, right? So um, pay it forward. Yeah, pay it forward. Click the like button. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, off camera, when I was shuffling, I said, do you have spirit? Do you have any messages you want to give to Aquarius in regards to love? And the, uh, the page of swords came out. Okay. Hold on. Let me change this one second. Uh, no. Cancel that. I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right. So, um, page of swords came out, page of swords and the privileged lady. So it looks like we've got, in terms of love, Aquarius, you have someone that either you're not talking to at all or the communication is very strained. Um, you try to refrain from talking to them because you don't want it to turn into an argument. There's a lot of mental agility that needs to be done or talking with this person. Like you have to read into and you got to read you know, it, you got to read out of what they're saying. It's like, you, you got to like decipher, decode. Um, you don't know why they're coming back or why they want to talk to you or vice versa. This is how someone feels about you. It's always a question of with the page of swords. It's, it's an inquisitive, curious type of energy. Like, you know, well, what do you want? And trying to figure it out. And it, it's not, it's like tension also with the page uh, of source. And it's always, it seems to be, you know, a premature false start. Every time you, you, you start with this person, it goes nowhere fast. Um, this person or you Aquarius, cause this is an Aquarius card page of source can be spying on your person. Now you can be spying via the Tarot also. Okay. And they could be spying on you using the Tarot. This could indicate maybe there's a feminine energy spying on the other person, or there's someone spying on a feminine energy. However, your life's, you know, shapes up, you know, where to fit this, or it could be both. You both are spying on each other. You both want to know what's going on. You're trying to pick up on clues, anything, 
you know, um, that will give you some type of idea of what they've got going on. There's still somebody in a very petty, pesky, argumentative, discord, drama field um, energy with the court card, courthouse card coming up. Because it talks about the petty things, the pesky little details you've got to iron out. So maybe there's somebody who's still trying to bring up the petty little details of maybe their indiscretion or yours or someone. Um, there's somebody here when you do talk to them, it turns into a petty argument. It turns into just pettiness altogether. Someone doesn't like the fact that you can exist on your own. You don't need to coexist uh, or that you are um, a privileged person or that you can handle it, whatever it may be. Someone is wondering, how are you handling it? There is an energy where this could be the person that you're coming to the reading for Aquarius, or it could be vice versa. There's somebody in the energy of, um, they want you to come and take a walk on the wild side with them with the wild card coming out. You know, they're still in this low vibrational energy of let's just hang out, let's do, let's drink, let's smoke, let's have sex, let's just be merry, have fun, party, be merry. It could be you, Aquarius. Someone wants more than that, you know, either it's you or the other person. There is not a meeting of the minds. There's a lot of argument or just frustration or not seeing eye to eye in all of these false starts that you have between you and said individual. But I think for some of you, you can expect an unexpected message to come to you. Let me just plug one thing up, guys. Yeah, you can expect an unexpected message to come to you, maybe from the least expected person. Okay. Or, or it could be vice versa. You'll be giving someone a message, Aquarius. What else do we have coming in? What else do you want to tell Aquarius in love? Child, you're going to get like a small offer. Somebody does want to start over with you. I heard redemption, redeem themselves. Um, this could have been a relationship full of hard work, laborious. Maybe somebody put all the work on you. You know, they just like you do this, Aquarius. You show up for the relationship. You make all the plans. You pay all of the bills or the dates. You do this. I'm hearing like maybe even sex was all on you. You know, like them wanting you to do all of the work. I don't know. Let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius? Another page, page of pentacles. It's like, a, again, a small offer, a gesture of, of their kindness, a gift. Someone is saying, give me the opportunity to be consistent with you or to show you that I've changed or that the relationship can be healthy. What is the advice for Aquarius in terms of love here? The king of cups, remain emotionally stable, balanced. No one emotion to bring about if this person contacts you, if they want you back. We're talking about Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a male Libra, we, anybody here. But um, it says, so the King of Cups is directly related to the temperance card. So it says, remain balanced, moderation in, in all things. You know, take the middle ground. Don't just, you know, throw your panties, you know, at this person or your boxers at this person because they came back and they want to make it work and they apologize. No, it says stay balanced because you've got two false starts here. You've got somebody who is, who are, who is a page and you, your advice was the king. So you've got someone who's still in page energy. They still have to uh, redeem, redemption, redeem themselves. They still have to prove themselves to you. And why would they prove themselves to you if they, if you're going to give them all of you? The King of Cups 
it's not going to do that. They're going to remain balanced. They're going to know what emotion to, to give to said individual. I'm going to give you uh, compassion. Okay. I'll give you opportunity to show you yourself as new, but, um, you know, I'm not going to, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to, I'm not going to just let you into because it's still a wild card. It's still up for grab. You still have to prove yourself that you're not in this energy. And it could be vice versa. Someone could be saying this to you, Aquarius. Let's see. What else? What is the advice for Aquarius? Whoa. Um, so we got a lot of cards that fell onto the floor. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Lovers. Six of Wands, the Sun card, the Devil, the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. Wow. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's put it back. Okay, well, I guess we want to talk about it. Um, What is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius uh, to come? That's what's to come. All of those cards. What's to come? I don't know. What's the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? Okay, the Four of Wands. Um, successful completion of... You're going to be in high esteem of yourself, Aquarius. Especially when you... Um, oh, God. Cave... You've made somebody cave or you've made somebody like succumb to their own uh, irrational behavior, their own, you know, indiscretions because it's like somebody wants to redeem themselves with you. So it's like you don't make somebody cave or give in to the fact that this is humility. I don't know. This could be the universe also, but it's like you're going to have high esteem of yourself because this person is going to be coming back to you. In this page energy begging you asking you um you know for a chance to redeem themselves oh so we have wow yeah two of cups asking for the opportunity to um come back together to reconcile i'm i'm now wanting this one-on-one -on -one relationship aquarius please allow me to to show you um it's best for us to be together than apart you are more than just a lover. You are my friend. I mean, they're coming back and they're laying it on thick. It's like they want to heal this severed connection. And it's definitely, or it was definitely severed because you came out alone. I'm oh, sorry. You came out alone, especially if you're feminine energy. You know, there are no cards that indicate a relationship. You have the four of wands, but I really feel like it's talking about how you're going to feel when you have reunion with this person. Now, reconciliation is a different thing. You know, here at the channel, we actually use words in their definition. So um, reunion and reconciliation are two different things. It says when you have reunion with this person, you wanna have high esteem of yourself because, you know, it's like the universe is humbling this person. What else um, do we wanna tell the Aquarius? The, out the chariot card. Um, not the best card for love. And this is a love reading. It talks about, you know, staying focused on self, self-directed energy, self, just self-focus, you know, um, short-term goals. It talks about working out. It talks about, um, being, you know, focused on, um, what's to come. It also talks about astrology. So look at your astrological chart to see what's happening for you in love at this time for you. Again, I'm getting focused, focus, focus. It's like stay focused. I don't know if this person comes back and, and knocks your focus off of you into them or the relationship, but the cards really want you to stay focused, directed on you. They want all of your goals to be accomplished, moving ahead, moving forward. Um, somebody counted you out, discounted you, discredited you maybe even. They didn't put you in at all. You weren't in the running. They may have chosen someone else over you, but now they see you in all of your splendor and all of your joy and all of your, you know, just being you, they see you. And now somebody wants the opportunity with you or to come back to you. But the cards are asking you to stay focused on you. 
the underdog. You were the underdog, and now they want the underdog. Let's see what else. Yeah, nine of cups, you got single energy. Like, stay emotionally stable, but by alone. The nine is a singular card, you know? It's by yourself. Don't attach quickly. Remember, you the all the cards that fell out onto the floor, ten of cups, ten of pentacles, six of wands, um, I think it was the world, all of these good cards it, but they said to come i don't something is happening but before all of that comes to you in love aquarius something else happens somebody else has to be humble um you get one final test um let's see what else what's the advice for aquarius advice for okay advice for aquarius advice for aquarius advice for aquarius yeah, you love this card. Leaving. Leaving. So leaving came up for you, Aquarius. You see that Instagram. Um, this card particularly, it predominantly <laughs> talks about leaving a toxic, stuck, unhealthy situation, relationship, whatever, behind. And that's what you're doing with the chariot card. Because that's the vehicle of movement in the cosmos and cosmology and astrology. It's like you're moving away from this. You've, you've done your time there, Aquarius. Don't allow for it to come back and pull you back in like the wild card. Look at these people. They're smoking. They're drinking. They're coming with it. And this is what maybe what this person wants you to engage in. Let's engage in what we used to engage in. You, might have, you could have met this person when you were kind of low vibrational, making the transition, and now you're not you're out of that and they want to pull you back in wow windfall came out you're leaving behind to toxic drama filled bad energy to come to an abundance of maybe love devotion joy peace serenity of course money aquarius wow at the bottom of the deck you have family changes this card specifically talks about marriage um the moving in and the moving out of home and residence and moving on and it talks about it's a change for a family dynamic so maybe you already have been married before now you are you have one or two children or maybe you've got a dog or whatever or you have a home maybe you don't have any kids but it talks about you moving your dynamic of your family whatever it consists of it could just be you and a pet but it's going to be a, a complete change for you and your pet. It could be you and your mom. It could be you and your elderly grandmother, whomever, whatever it is. There's marriage on the cards for you. A change, a shift, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, something about moving on, moving away from. you got also at the bottom of this deck, you have the Tibonage. I might be saying it wrong, but I like to say it. It is the temperance card. You know what this card it says, it says uh, in love, a healthy, wealthy marriage, you know, surefire, healthy, wealthy marriage. When I do my own asking of questions to the cards, to the universe, when I ask the cards, the question of um, what card will indicate that two people will get back together and stay together. They gave me the temperance card. And just like in the Hierophant card and the Temperance card, the universe is trying to bring two different dynamics together. So it's going to take some time and some energy. So the universe is saying, be patient because what we're bringing to you is going to be long lasting. It's going to be forever. And it could be this person. It could be another person, but it could be this person because the Temperance card is directly related to the King of Cups. And the advice for you was to, Remain balanced. Don't just go flying out of the window because this person wants to come back to you, especially if you've got past energy because they're still learning. They're still coming up as page, okay? They're still in the energy of where they need to um, be consistent with themselves first, with their spiritual practice, with their higher self. So they can't be consistent with you until they're consistent with themselves. So you're gonna have reunion with the four of wands, but even with, after that, the cards are telling you to stay balanced. Seven of, uh, not seven, dance. 
the chariot card, which is a seven of card, which is a seven card. And it talks about control in relationships. So you're going to have to control yourself um, because you're what you're trying to do is leave behind toxicity, drama, right? And have a windfall of goodness, good, good luck. This could be even a new person, you know, it's going to be different for every Aquarius that listens to the reading. And then they also are telling you nine of cups, you're going to get, you know, your wish fulfillment, but it says stay emotionally stable alone. The only way you're going to maintain this emotional stability right now is, you know, separated solidarity. Um, you can't tie yourself to somebody who's still in the energy of learning. Okay. Um, and they still may be kind of low vibrational and toxic with the wild card. Las Barons. Uh, one last card for Aquarius for love. What card can you tell Aquarius? What card um, indicates where Aquarius is? All right. For love. What angel and ancestors oracle card indicates where Aquarius is? Where is Aquarius in love? Where is Aquarius? Okay, so you are the shield maiden. Make plans and focus. You got so many cards of focus, Aquarius. Nine of cups, okay? And uh, the chariot card. So it's like, you know where you want to be in terms of love. So you need to make those plans and you need to focus on that. Or you know what you want. You want a family. You want this. You want that. Focus on that. Okay. And move past ancestral patterns. So if mama and them got pregnant and ne never married and had to deal with baby daddy situation or baby mama situation if daddy was a rolling stone move past those ancestral patterns that you feel aren't good for you you can break that ancestry um those maybe ancestral curses or generational curses you can you can become like an elder to your family in your family okay so what you and what you're doing also is breaking the pattern of um allowing yourself to be used or misused in love also. Okay. So it's like you're breaking a pattern right now and you're the shield maiden. So you could be a young woman. If you're not a young woman, you could be a young man. It's about protecting you and what you have and what you say you want. Don't let anything just come into your life and present itself to you. And then you try to reshape and reform your plan now. No, you had a plan. You said you wanted a wife, but this woman who clearly is not a wife has, is trying to enter your life. What are you going to do? You're going to say, no, that's not what I want. You're going to, you know, respectfully bow out, tell her to go about her own, you know, go the other way. Same for the women. If you know, this man is telling you, oh, let's see where it goes and we can be friends and using all these catchphrases that you've already heard before it's keep moving. Why even trying to refocus or reshift your plan for something or someone that's not a part of it. So the universe is saying in love, you have to make a plan, focus and stay focused on it and break ancestral curse, boundary, generational curse, whatever it may be um, so that you can move forward and get what you want. Excuse me. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down, uh, down in the comment section. And then um, readings are on sale, 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout on the website. <coughs> <coughs> I haven't coughed all day. I'm not sick. As soon as I get on to do anything about Aquarius, here we go. It's all right. We're going to walk. We're going to get through this. Okay. Somebody don't want this message out. Somebody wants you to not break that ancestral curse because it looks like Aquarius, you come into a very wealthy wealth. Of course, we think of money. Great. But you come into a very wealthy relationship to where you and your person not only help yourselves, but you help others. So of course, forces, against good 
bad, right? Would not want this to come together. Okay, so <coughs> you can be meeting your twin flame, life partner, soulmate. My hand is itching now. This is true. These forces don't want to see y'all together. They don't want to see you both grow. <coughs> they don't want to see the universe use you two for good. <coughs> the you two being apart and being low vibrational, it helps the other side. It helps the adversary because somebody is still in the energy of being toxic, drama filled, dr just bad behavior, no governance. They just do anything, right? But if this person, whether it's you Aquarius or the other person, if they were to ascend, you guys will come into uh, unity. You will come into, uh, this is like um, um, yin yang energy, the temperance card. You will come into that energy and you, you can do great things in this earth. And, and uh, even the forces of darkness know this. So if they could keep one of you, at least one of you in the dark as long as possible or for your life, then they, you know, essentially they feel like they won, you know? So this is about the universe trying to bring two different, two different real, two different dynamics together, you and somebody else but not before the other person grows or sins or comes to the person that they're supposed to be because um the universe isn't going to bring one healed person together with an unhealed individual cuz that's just going to be drama that's not your your cross to bear you know um our savior bared it all on the cross for us that's not so if you feel like oh yeah my person is unhealed. I got to bring them to the light. That's, you're not God. So take that God complex off. You're not God and no one else is your God either. No person is your God. So when you, when you start thinking that you can heal them and they can do this and you know, you can do this and do that and bring them to the light. All you can do is introduce. All you can do is make the introduction. So this is for somebody cause the reading has been over. All you can do is make the introduction. But you can't, you know, you can't make the horse drink. You just lead them to water. And um, it's not your cross to bear. If you know that your person is not ready for a committed relationship where you both are healthy and healed, move the fuck on. Why hold yourself back? This is, that's, I heard agony. We agonize it for some of you. You're, you're creating your own misery. This is not your cross to bear. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or eight by texting it to the number below. You can also um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. I'm live. I do a collective reading for all 12 zodiac signs, and then I answer your questions. So catch me live. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.